Pipelines allow you to track information through a process. In this video, we'll show you the three components of a pipeline, stages for each step of your process, columns to track detailed data, and rows, which are the actual things you're moving through your pipeline. A pipeline looks like a spreadsheet, but it can actually do a lot more. In fact, it's the main tool we'll use to manage our workflow in Streak. This pipeline is for tracking sales leads, but we also have a pipeline for customer success, support, content, and hiring. Pipelines are completely customizable, so we can use them to track anything. At the top of the pipeline, we can see our stages and how many things are currently in each stage. Each stage represents a step in our process, like incoming leads, contacting leads for the first time, pitching them, and so on for each action that we take with a sales lead. If we're tracking something else, like a hiring pipeline, we would have stages that represent each candidate's interview process. When we complete an action, like reaching out to new leads, move each lead to the next stage to keep track of where they are in your process. You'll notice the numbers at the top of our pipeline update to show how many boxes we currently have in each stage. The goal, of course, is to move our boxes through our pipeline to the right. Next up are pipeline columns. All of the information that we want to track about our leads gets stored in these columns. We can choose what information to track in our pipelines, like whether or not our lead is interested in training, which products they want to buy, or when the deal is expected to close. Some columns even magically fill in data for us, so we have tons of useful information in our pipeline. Check out our deep dive video on columns to learn more about which ones to use in your pipelines. Finally, each row in our pipeline is one thing, in this case a sales lead, that we're tracking. We call these boxes because they can hold all different types of information. Inside each box, we can add emails with our contacts, jot down notes from phone calls and meetings, leave comments for our team or as a little note to self, and a whole lot more. The information on the right side of the screen probably looks familiar because it's another view of the columns that we saw in our sales pipeline. Contacts and organizations store contact information like addresses and phone numbers all in one place and give us shortcuts to draft emails, send calendar invites, make calls, and more directly from our pipeline view. Now that we've learned the basics of pipelines, it's time to build your own. We'll show you how to master your workflow and keep things moving through your pipelines in the following lessons.